Hi, this is Tamika with Pastries, Pumps, and Pine. I'm here with a Plan With Me video and my Big Happy Planner for the month of October 2024. So I'm doing my monthly plan with me. Um, I'm going to be using Lux Fall by Live Love Posh. This book can be purchased individually or as a box set. So if this is something you're interested in, you can... Um, Definitely use my affiliate link in the description box. And if you decide to purchase it as a single book instead of a set, you can also use my discount code that's located in the description box as well. And use of that and the link will be greatly appreciated. She does have a release coming up soon on the 10th, I want to say it is, with some new 2025 planner inserts and... Uh, a new box set of um, florals which you can also get individually if you like for that and then some PET tape as well so stay tuned for that all right what do I've got going on this month so my godson has a few things going on he's got um, youth group I know on the 13th they have a camp another camp on the 25th I'm not sure if he's gonna be going to that yet my brother's birthdays are this month my parents anniversary I'm gonna be going to a pumpkin patch <clears throat> and that's about all that I can think of that's going on this month so yeah As a matter of fact I need to grab a couple more books or some things um, I need that one I need this one as well so yeah alrighty let's get started let me do my functional stuff first um, I'm going to show you which selection collection of florals I'm going to use I started to use this one because I was like oh that's pretty but I was like I'm loving the non-traditional stuff for fall and so these pink florals with the pumpkins was speaking to me. So I'm going to be using that. And then there are boxes in the back that will work. So I've got that one pink color. I think that's the only pink color. So I'm going to pull also the Live Love Posh pink blooms so that I can find more um box colors to go with that all right so let's see i'm gonna use the pink that's in here which is a lighter pink and then i think i should use more of a hot pink and maybe let's see what other color will work I'm going to use this pink and maybe those will be the only colors that we use I'm thinking maybe a black even though there's really no black in these flowers but um hmm Yeah, I'm thinking maybe a black. I don't know. We'll see. There's not that many colors in here. Okay. Or maybe we'll just use those two pinks and we'll call it good with that. All right. So let's start with functional. just couldn't go down straight now could it mm -mm. that was gonna be too much like right 
So we'll get that one down. This one here. And then, let me see, okay, so we're gonna do the pumpkin patch here. This is also my parents' anniversary on this day. that is and how that just got there that is weird okay and then so there's the youth group meeting I think I have some of those scouts meeting ones left Yep, I got one left. So I'm glad that I got some use out of those stickers. Okay. And then there's some icon stickers. I don't know if I need any of these. Not Yeah, I don't need any of these, I don't think. Alright, so I think I'm done with this book. So let's go over here. They have the campery here. So I'm going to use a larger box for that. this one here I'm not sure still not sure if he's going to take part in that camp we shall see let's grab this one Beauty and Black. That's a Tyler Perry movie that's going to be on Netflix that I want to see. Alright. And so next what I think I'm going to do is start using these meeting ones for his um, meetings, youth meetings. Just so I can start using the stickers that I have. So I'm gonna make this. And one of these. Date night. Alright, do I wanna put a an icon in there? Why not, right? I really don't do dating, but it's just so I can try and find time to do something fun, even if it's just something fun with myself. And so I'm just going to put these cute little glasses down there. 
and these eyelashes. If you hear noise, that's my godson. He's playing his game. Even though I told him I was about to film, he is still not being very quiet. <laughs> so there's that. All right. I did not pull washi. Um, let's see what we got here for washi. <laughs> pull my little of posh washi. It's all mixed in together, but so I think that one, and then I've got two different pinks. Yeah, that one. So that's gonna work. Yeah, those are gonna work nicely. Okay. I think that's all of my functional stuff. I feel like, well, I take that back. I do need to put more. So I've got my brothers and their birthdays. I realized I picked all my boxes out of here, which is fine. <laughs> I think that pink color is just about the same. So let's do one here and then my other brother is here all right so I do need to go back over here to these icons and There's some birthday stickers. These are pretty big birthday stickers. Let me see how they fit here. And they fit a little big, but since I'm trying to use my stickers, I'm gonna go ahead and put, put it down. It's gonna come out of the box a little bit, but that's all good. While I'm in this sticker book, I'm going to see if there's anything that says anniversary because my parents' anniversary is. I know my dad's no longer here, but I do still want to note that. So, oh, see, I, I have date night stickers in this book. Okay. I'll try to use those up too. Yeah, there's no. Um, what am I trying to see? There's new anniversary stickers. So let's put a birthday cake sticker on each of these. All right. So now I think I'm finally done with this. I remember there are date night stickers in this book as well. So I can start using those up. Okie dokie. I'm just gonna white out all of the holidays. I personally don't celebrate Halloween, so now that's a big holiday for a lot of people. It's just, I don't celebrate that. All right, well, let's get into the deco. Let me think, do I want to put something in the sidebar? I will put a small one here, not a very long one just in case there's any special things I need to jot down throughout the month or any special dates that come up 
Oh my god, that's crooked. Like, how in the world did that get that crooked? I'm trying to find me a planner for the new year. A lot of people have come out with inserts or these create your own planners and and they're all classic size. All of them. I use classic size only for work. That's the only time I've really been using classic size over the last few years. And it kind of is a bummer that none of these companies are offering the big size right now. So yeah, quite the bummer. But, oh well. Now, there is one small shop that does offer their inserts, and they offer them in all the sizes. All the sizes. So, I might just have to go with that shop. Because I do... I'm not finding anything that I like in terms of a big planner from Happy Planner's latest release. I saw one on Amazon. I loved it. It was nice. It was only in class. It was only in the dashboard. That's what it was. So it was a big but wrong way out. And so it was like lovely. Um I get that mo a lot of people use the classic size, but once I went to the big size for my catch-all and realized how much space I have for decorating, I don't feel so limited in what I can do. So that's what I've chosen to use for the last few years. I haven't gone back. When I was teaching, I even used a big size teacher planner because it was easy to just add in papers because um, everything was eight and a half by 11. But yeah, it's a bummer because I do like what some of the people are offering. Like I love what Live Love Posh is offering right now but I just don't need it in a classic I'm thinking about buying their classic vertical just for work but I really would like it for the big because it's more some of the um, insert pages are more catch-all based pages and not work based pages if that makes sense so yeah, that's where I'm at with all of that. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take this big piece and I'm going to put it right here. Because you know what? I don't have a lot going on. And if I do, I can write it in that box that's in the sidebar. I just want this to be very pretty. I am loving the non-traditional stuff. For fall. And I know that some people are probably cringing that I'm covering up dates. Like, it's not a big deal to me. If I could see what's next to that, then I know what the date is. <laughs> Don't have to have it all showing all the time. I'm not going to white out the larger lines, just the dates. Yeah, I was like, man, that one that I saw on Amazon was nice. I really liked it. Um, but it was a dashboard layout. And there's no way in hell I'm switching to a dashboard. I don't think that is... In my opinion... In my opinion, if you want to be decorative with a happy planner, vertical is the way to go. It is much easier to decorate a vertical planner than it is to decorate 
any other layout and that's just my opinion but I feel that it's a lot easier the other ones no horizontal I feel like people tend to want to stay in the box even some people want to stay in the, within the box in a vertical um, but horizontal I feel like people really tend to stay in the box and dashboard it's kind of just a alternating thing because um, again they tend to stay in the box and I don't like just staying in the box <laughs> so I've tried a horizontal planner before and I'm like no I can't I can't do it it's just not fun to decorate Not at all. Yeah, I want to bring in some of these leaves also. Let's pull this one. Do 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 do. Just put that right there. Okay. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like that one. Let's pull this one and see where we want to put it. Let's put it up here. So yeah, I don't know. I wish more people would have given the option of big inserts and big planners, but that did not happen. So I'm thinking I might, if they don't come out with anything I like in the undated, when they have that last release for the year, Happy Planner, then I'm gonna have to just go with the one small shop that is offering big inserts. And I'm going to have to just go with that shop and use those inserts. I'll have to make all my own um, covers and dividers. I mean, I could still use my same cover from Happy Planner, but we all know if you're not purchasing what they've got now as a custom planner, you have you cannot reuse those dividers because the month is on the back side of them. So that sucks. So I'm gonna wait and see what they do for um the end of the year, that little release they do at the end of the year. And then just kind of go from there. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, this is similar to that one, but not quite the same. This is a pretty sticker here. Let's pull this. Let's put this right here. I want some quotes. I'm going to have to try and find some. OK. 
Okay, let's grab this pea. Well, nope, that's too close to that, so I don't want to use that. Yeah, that's too close to that. Let's see. It's looking good. I guess I do want some quotes. Maybe I could do like a quote here, something down in here. Then maybe some here and here. Let me see. There's no quotes in this book. So I'm first going to go to the Autumn Allure book, which is also available by Le Bopar. So that's another book that you can look into. Let's do Autumn Vibes up here. Hello Pumpkin Season. Let's do that down here. Okay, here's a Hello October. Let's grab that. Let's put that. Let's put that here. We'll cover up that white out right in there. Um, I really didn't plan on putting a sticker there, but there we have it. <laughs> Stress, bless, and pop and spice obsessed. <laughs> Let's do that to here. And then let's put something here. Legging leaves and lattes, please. All right. That's all I'm going to do in terms of quotes. Now I want to put some washi down. And let's see how much room I left myself for washi. Let's do, we could do the light pink here. And then the hot pink down here. Let's do the light pink down here. Okay. And then let's do light pink here. And then we're going to do the hot pink here. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like this spread would benefit from some more black. So, I have black quotes by Amber Plants for Day, right? And she usually has these filler pieces. And let's see if we can't find some to work in here. It has a lot of stars, lots of stars. So maybe we should use those. Lots and lots of stars. Okay, I think that works. I just felt like it needed something more. Maybe I could put one here too. That's a weird little space there, unless I put some florals there. Let's try and put some florals there. So let's go back into this sticker book. And we can pull one of these. And let's do a little leaf. Alright, I think that works. Now, the only other thing that I just thought about is possibly using these. They're pretty large for the monthly. But I think they could work. Let's go ahead and try these. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> Excuse me. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, this actually worked out pretty nicely. I like that I am getting use of my stickers. Hopefully I can um, do more filming this week. The last few weeks, last three weeks, I was sick, very sick for two weeks. I didn't even realize until I started recording this video that my voice is pretty much completely back. I lost my voice this the last week and 
the allergens have not been nice. But I'm trying to start taking vitamins so that I'll be all good to go once cedar season hits. Cedar season, cedar season is really, really bad for me. And I don't want to be like completely sick when that comes. All right, it's a lot of pink. <laughs> But I think it looks good. That's why I wanted to add in more of the black because I felt like it needed it. It probably would have been good to have added black boxes too. But it's too late for that. I mean, I could throw some in there in a couple of places. Um, like I could throw one here and one here and maybe one here and here just to kind of balance it out because when I tell you that's a lot of pink <laughs> that's a lot of pink um yeah so I'm gonna take a couple of this size and this is also another level of posh book I don't know if this book is still available this is one of her older books it was all black and white stuff functionally chic that was a good book very nice functional stickers. So I'll put that one there. We'll put this one here. We'll do skinny one here. And then a skinny one here. And that's just going to help balance out some of that pink. That already made a big difference, I think. Um, yeah, I think that really helped. So, I wanna, I kind of want to put one here, but I'm trying not to add anything else. I'm gonna leave it. I'm going to leave it as it is. But yeah, this again was the Lux Fall. Everything that I used pretty much was Live Love Posh. The Lux Fall. I use the Functionally Chic, I use the Pink Blooms, and this is another older one that could come in a set or you could buy them individually, and I use the Autumn Allure as well. Any of these, you can find them on their website. Some of them might be sold out, I'm not sure, but feel free to use my affiliate link in the description box. That would be greatly appreciated. I like this. I like that it's non-traditional. I prefer non-traditional fall colors sometimes, and this looks really, really nice. So comment below, let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on a pink fall? <laughs> let me know in the comments, and what do you have planned for the month of October? Also, guys, don't forget to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alert so you don't miss any videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.